Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for taking time to be here. Tonight, we are sending off a team from the Department of Foreign Affairs Office of the Undersecretary for Migrant Workers Affairs to fly to Wuhan City to assist the Filipinos to be repatriated from the epicenter of the 2019 NCOV, together with the medical team from the Department of Health. From the Department of Foreign Affairs, we'll be sending Roel Casaclang, Richard De Los Santos, and Abdul Rahman Pakasung. The three-member health emergency response team will be joined by a five-member medical team from the Department of Health. They will be on a royal air flight arranged by the DFA after receiving clearance from the Chinese authorities. On the flight back to Clark, the DFA team will be assisted, will be assisting the repatriates to complete the immigration documents and other requirements, and they will be joined by our two um, two members of Shanghai Philippine Consulate General who are now at the epicenter, Mr. Mark Guerra and Darren Bejarin. On Sunday, upon arrival in Clark, the team will ensure orderly disembarkation and transfer to the Athletes' Village in New Clark City, Tarlac, which will be their home for the 14-day mandatory quarantine period. The crew who manned the flight will likewise be subjected to the 14-day quarantine period. We just want to reiterate that the repatriation will not happen in the passenger airport, but in the airport hangar of Clark. Mga kaibigan natin sa media, uh, this afternoon we turned over to Ambassador uh, Wang Xilian of the Chinese Embassy our donation to the people of Hubei province as a gesture of solidarity with the communities in China affected by the NCOV. Uh, it consists of 52 boxes, uh, balikbayan size po ito, uh, which includes uh, emergency food items uh, and sanitation products. So, itawag po namin dito ay care packages. This is uh, the, usually the package that uh, our uh, DFA and uh, UMWA gives also to our uh, other repatriates. Uh, the donation will be flown into Wuhan by the DFA DOH Health Emergency Response Team departing tonight. So nakasakay po yung mga uh, relief goods and uh, care packages doon po sa eroplano na magdadala po at magsusundo ng ating mga kababayan sa Wuhan. Upon arrival in uh, Wuhan, the goods will be turned over by the team to the Hubei Provincial Authorities for Local Distribution. Ito po ay modest contribution lang po natin as an affirmation of the two countries' friendship and legacy of mutual aid that has been the hallmark of Philippine-Chinese ties over the years. Salamat po. We're going to give updates on the DFA team in Wuhan. The on-site repatriation team of the Department of Foreign Affairs handed out relief goods to Filipinos in Wuhan City who were stranded in their homes due to government restrictions limiting travel movement in order to contain the 2019 NCOV ARD. Next, the DFA on-site repatriation team entered ground zero of the NCOV outbreak to firm up the arrangements for the planned repatriation activities with uh, Chinese authorities. Next, the team hired a vehicle to visit neighborhoods with identified Filipino residents in travel-restricted Wuhan City and handed out grocery items and also basic necessities. And uh, tonight we expect, uh, as, of, as of the moment, we have a total of 26 persons, including uh, spouses and infants who have confirmed their intent to join the repatriation flight. Uh, we expect that uh, we'll be waiting until about the last minute, which may be around 11 p.m. Thank you. And we'd like to thank DFA for inviting us to this uh, conference, uh, press conference. Uh, let me start by naming the members of the uh, DOH health team that will be joining the DFA contingent. In uh, uh, assisting our uh, fellow Filipinos uh, in going back to the Philippines. We have two doctors, and uh, Dr. Uh, Neptali Labasan will be acting as the team leader of the team. Another doctor, Dr. Oliver Maclinao. Then we have two nurses, uh, Roel uh, Divine Gracia and J. Juan, and one med tech, uh, Mr. Elmer Collins. So this will be the five health workers from 
the DOH that will really be joining the team. Uh, we are now in the process of finalizing the setup preparations, but almost complete, the quarantine facility that will be the home of these Filipinos for the next 14 days. So meron po kami doon medical personnel 24-7 for the next 14 days. Uh, we also have uh, medical supplies ready in the, ready in the area. And the uh, Bureau of Quarantine personnel will be assisting uh, our teams there for the next two weeks so that proper quarantine procedures are observed and uh, they can go out after 14 days uh, free of any possible label or contamination. So thank you very much for, again for the They're supposed to leave at 10.15 tonight. And then um, sorry, at 10.15 tonight, and they're supposed to be there at around 1.15. And they will have to stay around 45 minutes. And they leave at 2 o'clock, and they're supposed to be back at 5 in the, in the morning tomorrow. So if everything goes well, there, everyone's going to be back at 5. Thank you, Paul. Uh, ang, ang purpose po kasi ng quarantine is really to isolate uh, for whatever reason. Kaya gusto natin i-quarantine. Usually, uh, health uh, problems, diseases. So, ang isang principle pa, we would like to maintain as much as possible uh, distance and less contact, uh, the least contact that we can do. So, per room, isang tao lang po. Dahil although they came from the same place, uh, hindi natin alam kung ang exposure ng isa ay mag iba, -iba. So, kung makakasama sa, sa isang room at yung isa pala ang na-expose, damay pati yung iba. So, ang naging policy po natin ngayon, since we have still sufficient number of rooms, one uh, repatriates, one room. Pwede na lang kung pamilya, mag-asawa, then there are provisions for that, lalo kung may bata. Then, um, uh, they will be allowed to use their cell phones, pero with some uh, rules, kasi ayaw din naman natin na sila pa yung magiging sakit ng ulo of so many complaints, etc. They will be allowed to use that, but primarily to contact the family. Hindi yung mag-post ng ganito, mag-reklamo ng ganito. Although the way we see it, wala naman silang i-complain sa lugar. It's a very good facility. It's the athletes village. So, aircon, may refrigerator, may TV, one per room, maganda yung banyo, sa ulo niya. And uh, again, minimal yung contact. The food will be served to them doon sa isang table along the alley. And they will be instructed to get pag ready na. They will also be provided opportunity to breathe fresh air. Meron doon portion na parang near the door. Uh, by bats, so by, by schedule, they can go out and see the, the world around and enjoy the view of the NCC. And this will be the, the routine. Then after three days po, um, mental health team from our uh, facility in Maribeles, will go there and assess ano ba yung mga mental needs or psychosocial support that we need to provide. Because eh, hindi po biro yung mag-quarantine ka ng 14 days. Siyempre, mabubor ka dyan. But of course, they have the television. They will be given books. Just paper every day will be provided to them. So, and the food. Then there's washing facility din sa loob. And we uh, make sure that yung mga soil linens nila uh, and waste materials will be disposed of properly just like what we do in our hospitals. So wala pong risk ng contamination outside because in and out, day in and day out, alam naman natin sa hospital madaming mga infectious materials. And we are able to manage and control and dispose them properly. Kung uh, intact yung kanilang ano, as uh, protective mechanism, yung PPEs, walang nasira uh, along the way. Hindi naman sila uh, same condition of those who really came and stayed in Wuhan. Uh, PUM lang sila kasi kung wala naman silang symptoms, wala silang ka, wala silang mapapakita. Uh, ang kanilang positive ano lang is that they went there sa Wuhan. So, PUM sila, quarantine din sila, but not necessarily quarantine. They will stay there for the next 14 days po. Ah, 14 days then? Po. Ganun din po. Ah, okay po. They will be provided rooms then doon, but not in the same rooms or the same building uh, 
or level as the other uh, regular repatriates. Personal natin sa quarantine facility, um, hindi naman sila kailangan mag-interact with the uh, people under quarantine. Separate buildings sila. There are two buildings in the Athletes Village, Building A and Building B. Yung mga repatriates will be housed sa Building A. And yun namang mga personal natin, yung mga mag-manage, uh, food preparation, all these activities will happen in building uh, B. So walang, walang link, as much as possible, we would like uh, less contact na. Uh, there will be 24-7, uh, at least five, five health personnel coming from the five hospitals natin uh, in Region 3. These are Paulino J. Garcia sa Cabanatuan, Jose Bilingat sa San Fernando, Bataan General Hospital sa Balanga, Maribeles Mental sa Maribeles, and the Talavera Hospital in Talavera, Nueva Ecija. Yun po, the OHS hospitals ito, they will take turn in manning the, the health uh, clinic doon, health, uh, health post, so that in the event na kailangan may ilipat, nagkaroon ng symptoms, they will also be monitored uh, every day. Madali natin may assess at may ilipat agad sa hospital for further uh, uh, examination and confinement. We really open this for everyone in Hubei. Among the 300 Filipinos in Hubei, the, these are the only people who manifested. In fact, medyo bumababa nga yung number dun sa initial. So, we, we just want to reiterate, Filipinos are free to come home. I mean, wherever they are. It just so happens, this part of China is on lockdown and they want to come home. But any person who wants to come home can just go to the embassy and seek help. So, ito lang po kasi talaga, wala, hindi namin talaga kaya, ano, they, they have, hindi sila, walang lumilipad pong eroplano. Uh, ang utos po ng ating Pangulo, at pati na rin po ni Secretary Luxin, lahat po ng gustong bumalik, voluntary hindi po ito sa apilitan, maaari po silang bumalik. Kung hindi po silang makasama dito sa batch na to, uh, tayo po ay handa naman po na magsagawa pa po ng isang pang repatriation flight para po doon sa iba. Ano? Pero alam niyo po, uh, lilinawin lang po namin, marami po sa atin din mga kababayan ngayon sa China, doon, doon sa loob po ng Hubei at ng Wuhan, eh meron po kailangan ayusin yung kanilang immigration status. Ano? Meron po iba may problema. At sa, alam niyo naman po, kapag tayo ay nasa ibang bansa, eh sumusunod po tayo doon sa patakaran at batas noong uh, bansa na ating uh, pinaglalagian, in this case sa China. Po. So yun po, ayusin uh, po yung kanila mga papeles para sila po ay mabigyan din po ng exit clearance. So kung lahat po ng Pilipino na gusto po na bumalik po sa Pilipinas doon po from Hubei, handa po silang, handa po ang DFA na iuwi sila, handa din po sila na pumunta, ready din po sila pumunta sa ating embassy or consulate, makipag-ugnayan lang po sila. Dilinawin lang po namin na uh, ito pong uh, China po, yung ibang lugar po sa labas ng Hubei, ay bukas po at uh, may flights pa po ang China. Hindi naman po sarado ang airports ng China. Ngayon po, sa ngayon po, marami pong pumapasok at marami pa rin po lumalabas sa iba't ibang lugar ng China, pwera lang nga po doon sa Hubei province na under travel restriction. Yun po ang rason kung bakit po isinagawa ng DFA itong repatriation flight na ito.